Hello friends, welcome to my new tutorial of Gonadis 4 tracking, NNC commerce tracking. I'm Rahul Mardol, expert in Gonadis 4 NNC commerce tracking, Facebook API conversion, Google's conversion tracking, LinkedIn tracking, etc. So, uh, if you are looking for this service, you can hire me. I can set up everything very perfectly, accurately through Google Tag Manager, which is very standard way to track anything. So, uh, let's get started. In today's video, I'll show you how to track Advocate event. So, for this, uh, let's go, uh, come to your Google Tag Manager and just uh, connect uh, to the debugging mode and go to your website. Then click on any product, and I will see the data in the debugging mode. Then I'll show you how to track that. So, now click on Add to Cut and add to cut data will be shown here you can see add to cut data add to cut so click on add to cut you can see the uh, data load that pushed event is add to cut so let's track this so to track this you have to uh, give these uh, parameters uh, there are three parameters currency value and items so let's create a tag first new and give this tag name j4 add to cut tag and click on tag configuration and click this as this is an event so select whole analytics here for event and select here configuration tag configuration tag is uh, select this and you have to uh, paste the event name so this is an uh, recommended event by google so you have to paste exactly what the google recommends here you have to paste exactly like this otherwise it will not work it will not work so uh, just copy and paste it mm, and in the event parameters you have to send these three things uh, these three things currency value and items uh, so next mm, let's copy this currency value okay i'm typing here c u r e n c currency so select this currency i have already created tag in the previous uh, created variable i think so here you can see dlv commerce uh, dlv commerce currency i have created that value um, variable uh, and now i will give a value so let's go to google tag manager value b a l u e value so here the value is i'll create uh i'll create that variable here i will name it dlp add to get value dlp dlp means data variable i'm typing it as an abbreviation form so uh, dlp add to cut add to cut Hello, B A L E value. Del value. value. So click on it and select the uh, data lab variable and go to your debugging mode. And now uh, select the add to cut and go to the data layer section. Now I have to take the value. So the value of this item you can see here Coco body well. Uh, Coco body well let's find it uh, e-commerce under items if you go to under items you can see here Coco body well the price is 60 you can see here if I take this value this value and this price is same so I will take this value so how to take this uh, this value is under e-commerce so I have to take this e-commerce dot value like this so let's copy this e-commerce copy it go to google tag manager you paste here and go again and copy this value from here go to google tag manager and paste it now save this so i have added the value and now i have to add the items i t e m s so what the google recommended uh, like yeah, you have to paste these items 
exactly like this otherwise uh, the data will not go to GA4 so I have already uh, created the items variable in the previous video uh, if you don't uh, watch that video watch again so I will select this DLP commerce item select this now everything uh, the event three event parameter I have added and now I will select this trigger uh, click on trigger and I will create a tag for add to cart so it is better to create a different uh, trigger for every tag so just write uh, gf4 gf4 add to cut add to cut add to trigger uh, click on trigger configuration and click on custom event as this is in custom event go to the debugging mode and here you have to copy this just copy this and go here and select this add to cut and save this so the add to cut trigger uh, for google analytics 4 has been configured and now i will uh, show you whether the data is going to G ga4 google analytics 4 or not so let it connect it first So it has been connected so now just scroll down and click on any product like i am clicking on this saving kit and go to google analytics the data will appear here uh, this is the debugging mode so sometimes it takes time to appear here if it is not appearing just reload the page it will be appear so just wait let's see what happens so i'll refresh the page you can check from here also uh, if you select uh, okay just let it be loaded you can check whether the parameter and value whether the data whether the variable dlp data variable is working or not you can see here i just go to your website and uh, click on add to cut click on add to cut you'll see add to cut here click on add to cut here in the debugging mode and go to the variable section and you will see you can see here dlb commerce items everything is going to the g4 e-commerce items and we have seen the currency and value is 55 you can check it from here 55 dollar so everything is okay so everything will be uh, shown here uh, if you check from here so that is it thank you so much for watching my video i'll come up with another tutorial thank you so much